Why don't you get closer to the... Yeah, so you can hand me the phone when I need it. más frío en la mañana, ¿verdad? Sí, con el agua y el aire. ¿Trabajaste en la mañana aquí? En la mañana. Como, como 40. Sí. Yo creo que estaba probando. Today is the first Sunday in Lent, el primer domingo en la cuaresma. Eh, pueden ver que el color del altar se ha cambiado a morado to the violet or purple color. And that's uh, the color of, of a king who suffers. Eh, es el, el, el rey humilde que sufre por nosotros. Entonces el violeta es el mezclado de morado con negro. Entonces, los 40 días, es esa estación, 40 days in this season, uh, 40 days where um, we think about what Jesus did for us, his great suffering and passion and his death, and then comes Easter. Después de 40 días viene la, la Pascua, pero primeramente Cristo tuvo que sufrir por nosotros y morirse para pagar nuestra deuda completa y resucitar para probarlo. Entonces, estamos en este tiempo de cuaresma, 40 días. Y uh, vamos a comenzar cantando, This is the day the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. And our singers can help me. You want to come up? What? You can do the echo for me. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Good job. Let's do a little faster. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and rejoice in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Oh, you can hear me. Let's do it again. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and rejoice in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Me gozaré, me gozaré en el día de hoy, en el día de hoy. Es este es el día que el Señor creyó, me gozaré en el día de hoy. Es este es el día, es este es el día que el Señor creyó, que el Señor creyó. Es este es el día que el Señor creyó. Oh, yeah. Sí, estaba poco frío por la mañana, pero... Estamos agradecidos que podemos estar en la casa de Dios escuchando su palabra. Y especialmente vamos a escuchar a Cristo diciendo que, que no es por el pan que vive el hombre, pero por cada palabra que sale de la boca de Dios. Él es el pan de vida. Entonces estamos en la estación de la cuaresma. And uh, let's start up a
thing is the Ten Commandments, huh? There you go. We heard about the Transfiguration last Sunday where Moses was with Jesus talking and Elijah, Moses, who received the Ten Commandments. And he, we, we can't ever keep the Ten Commandments perfectly, but guess what? Jesus did. He went into the desert. He was tempted by the devil, but never failed. He did it perfectly in our stead. That's the good news. That's why we rejoice today. All right, next slide, Maggie. Here's our Ten Commandments song. You should not have any other gods, any other gods, any other gods. You should not have any other gods and not misuse his name. Keep the Ten Commandments. You should keep the Sabbath holy. You should keep the Sabbath holy and honor your parents too. Don't kill, no adultery, don't steal and don't tell lies. Don't want or desire what's not yours, what's not yours, what's not yours. You should not have any other gods, any other gods, any other gods. You should not have any other gods and not misuse his name. Keep the Sabbath holy, you should keep the Sabbath holy. Keep the Sabbath holy and honor your parents too. God sent his son to die for you and pay for all your sins. Jesus kept the law for you, all for you, all for you. So love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and all your strength. And love your neighbor up with yourself, because God first loved you. Because God first loved you, because God first loved you. Very good, girls. With great love, Jesus went into the desert for you and me. And he kept the Ten Commandments perfectly. Because if you were to fail one time, then he could have never saved us. But he defeated the devil. He won the victory. And so Lent is about love. Wow. What does that, what does that uh, little Valentine's candy say? Remember you are dust. This year, Ash Wednesday was the same day as Valentine's Day, the 14th. El 14, hoy día San Valentín, también el miércoles de ceniza. El mismo día. And look in that word Valentine. You can even see the word Lent. Right in the middle, Lent. You can't spell Valentine without Lent. Because Lent is where Jesus did the work to save the world from our sins out of great love. To, to raise us up from the dust that we are and to give us the hope of eternal life. Let's sing now the, the, the John 3.16 song. Sing, our God is so great, so strong, and so mighty. There is nothing He can't do. We couldn't defeat the devil. It was impossible, but Jesus did, because He's great, strong, and mighty. All right. Our God is so great, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. Our God is so great, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing our God cannot do. 
The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. Our God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing our God cannot do for you. Our God loves us so, our God loves us so, he gave his son Jesus for me. Our God loves us so, our God loves us so, he gave his son Jesus for me. He died on the cross, he rose from the dead, he'll come back in glory for me. Our God loves us so, our God loves us so, he gave his son Jesus for me. And you, the Father, the Son, and Spirit are one, all glory and praise to our God. The Father, the Son, and Spirit are one, all glory and praise to our God. By water and word, the Spirit, my Lord, has washed me and called me his Son. To tell one and all, God loves big and small. There's nothing our God cannot do for you. There you go. Let's watch the video now about Jesus being tempted in the wilderness. That's the story that we begin Lent always with, how Jesus was led into the wilderness. After Jesus was baptized, he went away into the wilderness, a wild and desolate land. There he stayed for 40 days, fasting and praying, preparing for his ministry ahead. Jesus would face many tests, but would rise triumphantly. The whole time that Jesus was in the wilderness, he had nothing. For 40 days and 40 nights, he went without a single meal. Satan knew Jesus was hungry. He saw this as a great opportunity to try and get Jesus to break his fast. If you're really the Son of God, just tell these stones to turn into bread, he said. Jesus was focusing on God and not on himself, and said to Satan, The word of God says that man shall not live by bread only, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Satan was not going to give up that easily. This time, he took Jesus to the highest spot on the temple. If you are the Son of God, jump. Remember, it is written, he will command his angels to take care of you. Jesus replied to Satan, you shall not test the Lord your God. Finally, Satan pulled out his sneakiest temptation yet. He took Jesus to a high mountain from which they could see all the kingdoms of the world. Then Satan said, I'll give it all to you, Jesus. Everything. It's yours. All you have to do is bow and worship me. At that instant, Jesus rebuked Satan in a strong and powerful voice. Be gone, Satan. The scriptures state, that you shall worship the Lord God and serve him only. Immediately, Satan fled from Jesus. His evil plans of temptation had no power over the Son of God. Jesus would remain sinless unto his death on the cross, where he paid for the sins of all mankind, thereby defeating once and for all sin and death. After Jesus' resurrection, God exalted him to the highest honor and placed everything under his authority. Good. So Jesus defended himself with the word of God. That was his sword. That's how he fought off the devil. And so he gives us that same word of God because our enemy is the same. He doesn't give up. And so he wants us to read God's word always. You know that song... We like to sing, read the Bible for every day and you grow, grow, grow. If you neglect the Bible and forget to pray, you shrink, shrink, shrink. Let's do that song. Why don't you guys want to help me? Read 
your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, 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 and you grow, 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 and you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. And what happens if you don't read your Bible? Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you shrink, 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 and you shrink, 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 and you shrink, shrink, shrink. Neglect your Bible, forget to pray, and you shrink, shrink, shrink. So how do you grow? Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, 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 and you grow, 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 and you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow, grow, grow. Nice, girls, thank you. Keep growing, reading the Bible. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, we're going to sing another song. This is a, a song that um, it's, called, it's called Let Us Ever Walk With Jesus Con el Buen Jesús Andemos. Okay, we'll sing two verses. It goes like this. Let us ever walk with Jesus Follow his example pure. Flee the world which would deceive us, and to sin our souls would lure. Ever in his footsteps treading, pilgrims here our home above. Full of faith and hope and love, let us to the Father's bidding, faithful Lord with abide. I shall follow where you guide. En español. Con el buen Jesús andemos este mundo a transitar. Pasos, pasos evitemos su enseñanza al observar. Siempre andemos en la senda de verdad que nos trazó y el ejemplo que dejó. Obedientes y metemos, buen Jesús conmigo sé y en tus pasos seguiré. Vamos a escuchar la historia de la salvación de Jesús. Después de que Jesús fuera bautizado, él se adentró en el desierto. Allí estuvo durante 40 días ayunando, rezando y preparándose para el ministerio de ser bautizado. Jesús se enfrentaría a muchas pruebas, pero se alzaría victorioso de todas ellas. En todo el tiempo que Jesús permaneció en el desierto, no tenía nada para comer. Durante 40 días y 40 noches, no comió absolutamente nada. Satanás sabía que Jesús tenía hambre, así que vio esto como una gran oportunidad para conseguir que Jesús rompiera su ayuno. Si realmente eres el Hijo de Dios, dile a estas piedras que se conviertan en pan, le dijo. Jesús estaba centrado en Dios, no en sí mismo. Jesús le dijo a Satanás, la palabra de Dios dice que no solo de pan vive el hombre, sino de toda palabra que sale de la boca de Dios. Satanás no se rendiría tan fácilmente. En esta ocasión llevó a Jesús al punto más alto del templo. Si eres el Hijo de Dios, salta, 
tendrían poder sobre el Hijo de Dios. Jesús permanecería sin pecado para poder ser el sacrificio puro y perfecto que pagaría por los pecados de toda la humanidad, derrotando así el pecado y la muerte. Después de la resurrección de Jesús, Dios lo exaltó al más alto honor y colocó todo bajo su autoridad. Vamos a empezar entonces con la invocación. Si pueden ponerse de pie, por favor. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Loving the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart, confess our sins unto God our Father, asking him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your presence and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may walk in your ways and walk in the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his Son to die for you and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a common day instrument of the word, I announce the grace of God unto all of you, and instead by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ahora confesamos nuestros pecados a Dios. Oh Dios, nuestro Padre Celestial, confieso que he pecado gravemente contra ti de muchísimas maneras, no solamente con transgresiones manifiestas, sino también con pensamientos y deseos conocidos. Sinceramente me arrepiento de esos delitos que ahora me pesan, y te suplico que con tu gran bondad tengas misericordia de mí. Y por amor de tu amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, me perdones mis pecados y me ayudes clementemente en mis flaquezas. Amén. Dios poderoso, nuestro Padre celestial, ha tenido misericordia de nosotros. Y por causa de los sufrimientos, muerte y resurrección de su amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, nos perdona todos nuestros pecados. En vista de la confesión que habéis hecho, yo como ministro de la Iglesia de Jesucristo, os anuncio la gracia y el perdón de Dios. Y en lugar del Señor Jesucristo y por mandato de Él, os perdono todos sus pecados. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And you may see, we'll sing Castillo Fuerte, a mighty fortress in Spanish. Satan, por armas de cabeza. 
gai gran pove, qual è il guaio da terra. Resto valore nada di con il dove sperido, ma spor nostro pugnara de Dios el escogido. Sabes quién es Jesús, el que venció en la cruz, Señor de Sabaoth, y pues el solo es Dios, el triunfa en la batalla. Pues confesamos nuestra fe en las palabras del credo apostólico. Creo en Dios Padre, Todopoderoso, Creador del cielo y de la tierra, y en Jesucristo, su único Hijo, nuestro Señor, que fue concebido por obra del Espíritu Santo, nació de la Virgen María, padeció bajo poder de Poncio Pilatos, fue crucificado, muerto y sepultado, descendió los infiernos, al tercer día resucitó de entre los muertos, subió a los cielos y está sentado a la diestra de Dios Padre Todopoderoso, y desde allí ha de venir a buscar a los vivos y los muertos. Creo en el Espíritu Santo, la Santa Iglesia Cristiana, la comunión de los santos, el perdón de los pecados, la resurrección de la carne y la vida perdurable. Amén. Repitimos. Read the lesson from Matthew chapter 4. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I give will give to you, if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Vamos a cantar firme hacia adelante. Adelante, pues desde la fe, sin temor alguno, que Jesús nos ve, jefe soberano, Cristo a frente va, y la regia enseña, remolando está. Dime si adelante, huestes de la fe, sin temor alguno, que Jesús nos ve. Al sagrado nombre de nuestra valí, siempre el enemigo huye de la ley. Nuestra es la victoria, dada a Dios lo voy, y hoy a lo infierno, lleno de pavor. Firme se adelante, huestes de la fe, sin temor alguno, que Jesús nos ve. Tronos y coronas pueden merecer de Jesús la iglesia.
siempre agradecer la de contra suya prevalecerá porque la promesa nunca faltará firme se adelante pues desde la fe sin temor alguno que Jesús nos ve muévete potente pueblo del Señor y de triunfo y triunfo marcha con valor eres solo un cuerpo y uno es el Señor y una la esperanza y uno nuestro amor firme se adelante pues desde la fe sin temor alguno que Jesús nos ve Amén Nuestra lección es de San Mateo capítulo 4 Entonces Jesús fue llevado por el Espíritu al desierto para ser tentado por el diablo y después de haber ayunado cuarenta días y cuarenta noches, tuvo hambre. Y vino él, el tentador, y le dijo, Si eres hijo de Dios, di que esas piedras se convierten en pan. Él respondió y dijo, Escrito está, no solo de pan vivirá el hombre, sino de toda palabra que sale de la boca de Dios. Entonces el diablo le llevó a la santa ciudad y le puso sobre el pináculo del templo y le dijo, Si eres hijo de Dios, Échate abajo, porque escrito está. A sus ángeles mandará cerca de ti, y en sus manos te sostendrán, para que no tropieces con tu pie en piedra. Jesús le dijo, escrito está también, no tentarás al Señor tu Dios. Otra vez le llevó al diablo, el diablo a un monte muy alto, y le mostró todos los reinos del mundo y la gloria de ellos. Y le dijo, todo esto te daré. Si postrado, me adoras. Entonces Jesús le dijo, Vete, Satanás, porque escrito está, Al Señor tu Dios adorarás, y a Él solo servirás. Y el diablo entonces le dijo, Y aquí vinieron ángeles, y le servían. Esa es la palabra del Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. And I will sing two verses of a mighty fortress in English. Our mighty fortress is our God, a sword and shield, victorious. He breaks the cruel oppressor's rod and wins for nations glorious. The old satanic foe has sworn to work us woe with craft and dread. Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. La gracia y la misericordia paz en a todos ustedes de nuestro Dios el Padre y su Hijo Jesucristo.
gracias al Señor Jesús, que Él venció al diablo. Nuestro enemigo que no pudimos nosotros, más fuerte que cualquier de nosotros, y pues perdidos somos. Pero vino el campeón para rescatarnos. ¿Cómo se llama? Jesús, Jesucristo. Él vino para rescatarnos del diablo y nos dejó libres del pecado, la muerte y su poder. Jesús fue guiado por el Espíritu Santo al desierto. Solos. Jesucristo y el diablo. Los combates. ¿Verdad? No había nadie. There was nobody there in the desert. Only Jesus and the devil. There was no comfort food. There was no desserts. No wine. No, no um, the emotional um, comfort pets that people have when you have troubles. Just wild beasts in the desert. There was no texting. There was no companions. There was just Jesus. He was the only one that could do this for us. He had to go to the wilderness. He had to, to show that he is the son of God who has lived the perfect life for us that we couldn't live. And he did it. He was led by the, by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Tentado. He felt temptation. Sentió tentación. The same thing that you and me feel. And we're tempted because the devil never gives up. And yet, he didn't fall. No se cayó. Ninguna vez. And that's why we have hope today. We have joy today. Because Jesus, he was condemned for us so that we would have life. By his perfect life. Just as one trespass resulted in condemnation for all people, So also, so also one righteous act resulted in justification and life for all people. One sin ruined the world when Adam and Eve rejected God by saying, you know, that, that fruit looks pretty good to eat. And it's going to make us just like God. We're going to know what is good and evil. Así como por la transgresión de uno vino la condenación a todos los hombres. De la misma manera, por la justicia de uno, vino a todos los hombres la justificación que produce vida. Pues ahí está donde la serpiente, Satanás, atacó a Adán y Eva y se cayeron. Y por resulta, el resultado era que vino la muerte. Pues comenzamos en, en la estación de, de cuaresma con cenizas en la frente. ¿Ustedes recibieron unas cenizas? Did you get any ashes? Well, the ashes remind us that we're dust. And we return to dust because of our sin. Death is inevitable. La muerte viene a todos por nuestro pecado. Eso es castigo de Dios. When you think about the dust that we put on our Before it's the ashes, it's like putting a big L on your forehead and saying, we're losers. We fail. We didn't keep the Ten Commandments. No guardamos los mandamientos. Ni uno. Pero Jesús lo hizo. And so, en lugar de poner una L, ponemos una T. A cross. Una cruz. And that cross says, I claim you. I forgive you. I give you life. I will raise you up again. Because when do we receive that cross on our foreheads? Yeah, we are on Ash Wednesday. When we were baptized, and the pastor says, receive this cross on your forehead. You have been redeemed by Christ the crucified. Tú has sido redimido por Cristo crucificado. Por la sangre de Cristo, el redimió todo el mundo. Entonces la cruz... La cruz es nuestra esperanza, donde Cristo hizo sacrificio. In the Old Testament, the cross was shown to the people to save them from the serpent's bite. And the venom that the serpents um, poisoned the people with 
was killing them unless they looked at the cross because Jesus became like a serpent on the cross. He was seen as sin. He took all our sins. And so the people were saved by looking at the cross. And we look at the cross of Jesus and that is where we find our salvation, our life. That is where Jesus defeated the devil. Conquistó el diablo. El diablo ya no puede acusarnos. He can't accuse us anymore because that's where our sins were buried on the cross. Once and for all, he paid it all. He opened heaven. Pagó todo, abrió el cielo, and then he rose again three days to show it was true. So these 40 days are going to end on Good Friday. Los 40 días van a terminar el Viernes Santo. Es un buen viernes. It's a good Friday because Jesus was faithful and never sinned. He was a perfect sacrifice. The devil tried to tempt him. If you're the Son of God, you really are. Show me. Turn the bread and uh, turn the rock into a into bread. Jesus was pretty hungry. Have you ever had to had to go a day without food, maybe, or two days? Your stomach starts to growl a little bit. No comió. Pues él tuvo poder para hacerlo, pero confiaba en el Padre. ¿Por qué? Él sabe nuestras necesidades. Él sabe el pan de cada día que necesitamos y provee. Y los ángeles vinieron a ayudarle. Pero de todo, lo más importante, lo que Dios nos da es la palabra que, que sale de Dios para nuestra alma, que alimenta nuestra alma. Y nos, nos da vida. Otra vez en la cruz misma. Trataba el Satanás de, de hacer caer Cristo. Y eres el Hijo de Dios. Muéstrate. Bájate la cruz. If you are really the Son of God, show us and come down from the cross. Jesus was tempted on the very cross. But he stayed on the cross out of love for you and me. Se quedó en la cruz. Por amor de nosotros. Look at all the world. I can give it to you. Just worship me. No. Worship only the one true God. Jesus never failed. It's, it is written. It is written. Está en la Biblia. You shall not test the Lord your God, and you shall worship the Lord your God alone, and you shall serve Him alone. So, go away, Satan. Vete, Satanás. And he had to listen to, to, to Jesus. The devil had to obey. Because God is more powerful than the devil. And with the word, very word of God, he defeated him. That same word is your strength. It's your sword. It's your shield. That you can resist the temptations of the devil so you don't fall. And the devil has to flee from you. Satanás tiene que también huirse de ti. Take the sword of the word of God. Always use the sword, el espada de, de la palabra de Dios. And you know this, very, very true. God knows what we're going through. He knows our tests. He did them all. He can sympathize with us. Because he was tempted in every way, but he didn't sin. Ja sabe Jesús lo que pasamos en esta vida. Él sabe por qué. Porque él mismo fue tentado, pero no se cayó. Sin pecado. Nuestro sumo sacerdote sabe nuestros plaquetas. Entonces, esto es nuestra petición, es sexo petición. No nos dejes caer en la tentación. Don't let us fall into temptation. It's our prayer. Help us, dear God, we pray. When temptation comes, lead us not into temptation. Not, not, don't let us fall into Satan's hands, but lead us away to your path of righteousness. He does that because he loves you and me. And he says, be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. Se fiel hasta la muerte y recibirás la corona de vida. That's what our, our good shepherd, our Lamb of God did for you and for me, offering himself on the cross so that we would have eternal life. Amen. Y la paz que sobrepasa nuestro entendimiento, guarda en sus mentes y corazones en Cristo Jesús. Amen.
peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, guard and keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. We'll sing together. Actually, we'll just go on for the prayers for now, after the offering. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's sing together now the Lord's Prayer in Spanish. Cantamos el Padre Nuestro. Especialmente enfocando en la petición, no nos dejes caer en la tentación. Padre Nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. Santa voluntad, Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. Perdona nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. No nos dejes caer en tentación, antes bien, líbranos del mal. No nos dejes caer en tentación, líbranos del mal. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado. In nuestras peticiones especiales, vamos a orar por Florencia. We pray for Florencia and also for um, uh, uh, Susan and and. Uh, and El Shook, um, they both have an accent today. Any other special prayers? Unas oraciones especiales. Vamos a orar. Padre Celestial, si nos escuchas siempre por tu misericordia, por Cristo, que, que no nos dejes caer en la tentación, Cuando vienen las pruebas, tú tienes compasión en nosotros y nos ayuda para fortalecer nuestra fe y hacernos más, gran, más, más uh, pacientes en la prueba. Oh, Señor, te pedimos que ayudes a Florencia 
y también al señor Ale, su esposa, Susan, en, en sus necesidades de salud, oh señor, eh, por medio de su, su gran amor, ayúdales según tu buena voluntad, y cada uno de nosotros, guárdanos de los ataques de Satanás, y guárdanos en la fe, hasta que recibamos tu, la corona que nos ha prometido por, por tu Hijo Jesús. En su nombre oremos. Amén. The Lord be with you. El Señor sea con ustedes. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Eleven sus corazones. Los elevamos al Señor. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. Darselas es digno y justo. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Nuestro Señor, en la noche que fue entregado, tomó pan. Habiendo dado gracias, lo partió, y dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen, comen, eso es mi cuerpo dado por ti. Hagan esto en memoria de mí. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is a new testament in my blood, shed for you for the remission of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. En la misma manera tomó la copa después de cenar. Y habiendo dado gracias a Dios, ellos diciendo, Beben de ella todos. Esta copa es un nuevo testamento de mi sangre, derramado por ti, para misión de los pecados. Hagan esto todas las veces que beben, en memoria de mí. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. La paz del Señor se con ustedes siempre. Amen. Welcome to the Lord's table. Bienvenidos a la mesa del Señor.
Lord said yes. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Dad gracias al Señor, porque él es bueno, y por siempre es su misericordia. The Lord be with you. El Señor se con ustedes. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bendigamos al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Haga el Señor resplandecer su rostro sobre ti y tenga de ti misericordia. Vuelva el Señor su rostro a ti y te conceda la paz. Amen. We'll sing our final song, Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us, much we need your tender care. In your pleasant pastures, feed us, for our use you for prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. We are yours in love, befriend us, be the guardian of our way. Keep your flock from sin, defend us, seek us when we go astray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, as children when we pray. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear us children when we pray. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us, much we need your tender care. In your pleasant pastures feed us, for our use you for prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear us, us, we are yours. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, you have bought us, we are yours. You have bought us, we are yours. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Wine and pass, serving the Señor. Thanks, girls, for helping us out. Good job. And uh, so we we do lift our prayers always to God. Levantamos nuestras oraciones a Dios. Siempre nos escucha.